we have uh, another young Indian with us today, Voice of the Young segment. Hello, everyone. Good to be back with you. Uh, right now, we have with us Ruparna. Let's listen to her. Over to you, Ruparna. Thank you, sir. So I am Ruparna and uh, I'm from uh, economics background. I studied in Gokhale Memorial Girls School in Kolkata, where I took up science, which was uh, one of my regrets because uh, right now, I don't know why uh, like I took up science, but at that moment, it seemed like the correct decision to me because physics and chemistry appealed to me a lot. And I was thinking maybe I can pursue the engineering stream. And uh, then I decided that, okay, this is not working for me. Maybe I'll be better, I'll do better in economics because the prospects of economics, uh, we had been introduced to economics in a history book, actually. Uh -huh. uh, back then our school was, yes, back then our school was uh, under West Bengal board. Later it changed to CBSC. But uh, in sixth grade, I remember clearly in our history book, there was this system, uh, there was a barter system being introduced and uh, it was very interesting to me because uh, people were trading goods uh, like among each other and i asked my mother uh, what what is the subject which deals with this because i want to study about exactly this okay. and she told me because she herself is a professor of economics she told me that this is economics and right then uh, i kind of like liked economics the prospects of economics and later on, uh, when I was deciding which subject to study, it kind of came back to me. And I was like, okay, this is something that intrigues me. And this is something uh, I can see myself doing. And then uh, I applied you to mean, our college. You mean you thought all this in sixth grade? No, no, no. This <laughs> I thought when I was deciding which subject to study in 12th grade. Yeah, I would have been greatly surprised. <laughs> no, no, no. Back then I was just interested. Yeah. I wanted to know more. All right. And uh, then in uh, 12th grade, I decided to uh, take up economics. I ended up applying and all our exams had not taken place because uh, it was the COVID year. Yeah. And uh, it was, yes. So, uh, I think two exams, Bengali and computer science, were cancelled. And uh, that that took a hit on my marks because I had expected to score good in both the subjects. Anyway, I scored well. And uh, then I ended up getting into Bethune College under the University of Calcutta. Yeah. And there I pursued uh, my dream subject, so to say. Yeah. And <laughs> I was... Uh, a part of a host of extracurriculars because I always think that you know part just academics is not does not define anybody yeah. I believe in doing a lot of things together because that's what defines you as a person if you are a part of this club if you are doing something for say the society if you are uh, acting as a part of a community if you are a you know team player I think uh, extracurriculars define us as a person the way academics cannot wholly mm -hmm. define us mm -hmm. so, uh, I was a part of a lot of that in Bethune College and then uh, I took the admission tests hey, which one did you enjoy the most all of these co-curriculars what did you enjoy the most uh, okay so actually I was selected as uh, the head of literary affairs in our Bethune College students committee so I enjoyed that the most because I was the editor, the student editor in chief. So I had to edit a magazine with a with my team, and uh, it was like, like it was a, it was a great experience because in that experience I got to you know like see everybody's perspective on paper, and okay. everybody had written so much. Like there was a girl from history department I still remember. She had written about a tribe I'd never heard of before. Okay. And there were so many people with so many stories, like not just uh, their own stories, maybe uh, some story that they'd come up with. But the extent of creativity that I like uh, came upon was astounding. Okay. And uh, by the way, is this college, uh, excuse my ignorance, uh, co educational <laughs> or women only? No, it's a girls' college. No, no, no. Huh? It's, it's a girls' college. It's, it's a, a girls', girls college. College. All right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, actually, I studied in a girls' school, and then my family uh, was like, "Okay, maybe you won't be so comfortable getting into a co-ed college so soon. So maybe yeah. you should try out a women's college first." Okay, fine. <laughs> but no, there are a lot of people from uh, girls' college only, you know, and I know. are in Delhi, so it's not an issue. It's just my curiosity. Okay. 
ओके ओके नो एक्चुअली आई हैड गॉटन इनटू स्कॉटिश बट आई परसूड फ्रॉम बेथून एट द एंड या सो यू वर अ चीफ एडिटर राइट एंड दिस इज प्रिंट आउट प्रिंटेड और इट्स ऑल वर्चुअल नो 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 इट्स प्रिंटेड इट्स प्रिंटेड ऑन पेपर ओके ऑल राइट वंडरफुल yeah good I... and so that was uh, actually more than a co curricular it's a job to be a chief editor <laughs> right it yeah. was like that yes yeah, yeah you have deadlines and, and you have to <coughs> coordinate and make sure it happens and all and quality yes. is good all right wonderful all right what else and uh, then uh, talking about extra curriculars right yeah. and i also enjoyed uh, we organized a fest obviously every college organizes a fest an, an annual fest and our fest is called alap mm. and uh, we organized that and i was a part of that committee too and it was it was very much fun because uh, we had to you know uh, go out for sponsors we had to do everything from make the brochures like uh, you know like from scratch we planned it out from scratch yeah. and it was really a lot of fun to be a part of something that big and you know yeah. seeing it unfold in uh, like mm. in front of your eyes mm-hmm. yes so that was it about my college experience yeah. and uh, then i applied for the competitive exams i got into indian institute of foreign trade and i chose the kolkata campus because it's close to my home yeah and <laughs> that's where i'm studying right now yeah you and just started right yes i just started a few yeah. months back yeah, yeah, yeah i've been going to classes for one month now so and how yes. was the transition it's great actually because uh, come to think of it my school was a small world after that when i entered college it was like okay there are so many people with you know so many versatile perspectives and i thought that okay so this is the big world but then i had seen nothing because yeah. right now i feel like the world is so much bigger and at iift uh, like i'm meeting so many seniors uh, my batchmates who have accomplished a lot so it's it's good to actually talk to them and you know like uh, share intellectual experiences and everything so it's it's great till now it's great it's going great and there so, are people from all over india or they are still mainly from one region no 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 uh, we have people from all over india mm-hmm. like there are people from delhi uh, a guy was from madhya pradesh there are a lot yeah. of people so yeah it's a, it's a really diverse batch okay so wonderful it, but that is like that every year i suppose diversity yes yes it's it's yeah. like that because it's an all india admission you just can't get yes, into yes. It. you can't get into it easily i assume no 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 uh, there are two rounds there is one admission test that you have to write after that uh, if you're selected then uh, there's uh, an interview a personal yeah. interview yeah like just just like this one actually <laughs> where you talk about economics and you're asked questions on that and if you crack that then you get admission so okay it's a procedure all right and what is uh, what are what are your is a big success to get in here and what are is your plans now uh i plan to like mostly explore a lot of subjects right now because uh, my specialization at iift everybody's specialization is actually finance and trade so uh, i plan to explore these two subjects these two subjects are actually what i'm really passionate about even when i was studying my undergrad these two subjects were what interested me the most i remember this because this was in our fifth semester that we were introduced to these two subjects and i loved these the most yeah because they were applications both of them are applications of economics not really only micro or only macro but applications of both yeah so i look forward to exploring that and uh, i want to go into the corporate world that has been my plan all along okay. and at some point in the future i can see myself uh, pursuing an mba yeah because uh, that's what uh, i've always wanted to do okay and no. uh, <clears throat> and is there <clears throat> likely to be any time for co curricular activities or this is too hard a place no 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 not at all actually i don't believe that uh, anything is hard because uh, yes of course uh, like many people many people are juggling it right with extra curriculars or they're juggling academics and i believe in doing that you know because uh, it's we can't just say that it's too hard and you know quit that's yeah. why uh, 
i believe that co curricular activities should be done and uh, i want to do them here also we have two societies let's see if i can get in or if i don't get in then <laughs> i have to stick to internships or something <laughs> oh i see so internships are second first is the societies right no 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 so not at all no. actually internships plus societies both <laughs> oh all right wonderful <laughs> all right and uh, anything outside the college that you do or want to do uh i read a lot you read a lot what do you read yes. oh actually maybe you'll be disappointed but i actually mostly read fiction oh. i have not grown out of my fiction era well, and... who are the good fiction writers i also read fiction so tell me <laughs> who are the good yeah. ones uh recently i was re- uh, reading sydney sheldon yeah. uh i love reading uh um legal thrillers as well john grisham ones yeah and uh, of course uh jeffrey archer <laughs> Yeah. Okay. These are well and, known. These are well known names, you know. Yeah. Okay. Agatha Christie. I confess, I've read some of them. <laughs> yeah. And they also made some good movies out of Grisham's books. Some of them. Yes. Are, yes. Yes. Yeah. With with Tom uh, Tom Cruise too in yeah. one of them. Yeah. The Form, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Form. Right. Right. That's a very nice movie. Very good. I mean, the suspense is quite amazing. yes yeah and uh, even uh, i re- i read historical fiction as well like greek mythology ones greek mythology actually interests me a lot so mm-hmm. i read the song of achilles uh, recently mm-hmm. i i really loved that by Ma- madeline miller i think yeah so yes so i am always always reading something or the other and yeah uh, when i am in my, one of my phases <laughs> <laughs> all right that's great okay let now since you are still in the first year of your masters i want to say something not just to you but to other students or who are also listening and young people <clears throat> that this channel i have now expanded the scope and uh, by expanding the scope i mean i want to empower the young people and if you and your friends or anybody else wants to organize an event or do something then you can use this channel okay i want this to be a channel for young people and how much can i think for young people there's a limit i didn't grow up in this digital era and i'm too old to be a native i'm a visitor <laughs> to the digital world whereas you are natives right you grew up with it it's in your blood it's there and if you or anybody you know or anybody who's watching thinks that they can organize an event say that is not only the college that you are in maybe you want to have an event of three or four colleges your friends have gone to another college so it's not a college event rather it's a friends event that you want to organize uh, then this channel is now available i am more than happy <coughs> to empower young people i said the whole one of the purposes here is to give young people an option not you know if you want to use it use it and it was initially just doing these interviews to give young people a chance to talk but why to talk to me why not they talk among themselves and enrich mm-hmm. themselves so you you know do a co curricular on this channel across colleges or even within iift you want to do iift may not have a channel and you want to do a co curricular in the society most welcome to use this channel okay so that's i want to say to not you also but to all who are listening that this is now official this is a new uh, idea of mine <clears throat> and i want to implement it okay so it will take time for young people young people like you to come up with something maybe maybe they won't maybe somebody will but in case they do then they are most welcome to talk to me and say listen this is the event we want to organize and can we do it and it's a paid channel so you can have a long time on it and there's no limit to number of people and we can use it okay that's what i wanted to that's what i've been telling people uh in private but now i think it's time to say it 
in public so that anybody who's listening can actually get it that look i have this bright idea why can't i do it and there's no channel in my college or in the place where i work even if you have a job it doesn't matter so long as you are coming together with a proposal all right anything else you want to add or you have some other questions or issues no sir uh, in case if you have any uh, if you can if you want to ask me anything else then it's fine or uh, like... uh, no i it's my policy not to ask questions okay <laughs> because uh, <clears throat> then i might as well do the talking okay? i don't, <laughs> i don't want to do the talking i want you uh, to talk about whatever is on your mind and in your way so i'm more than happy to ask i always ask you have anything else you want to say um, whatever was your some experience apart from editing in college or in school or in life that you remember <clears throat> fondly or unhappily um because you want i want also to okay next that is one and the other is if you have any tips for your juniors people are now telling me that you should have some tips for juniors okay fine you have any tips for juniors yes don't stress uh, i would like to tell them that they should not stress a lot because mm -hmm. uh, when i was like one year back i was thinking that okay maybe i won't get into any institute no institute uh, you know i'll be good enough for and uh, i'll get rejects everywhere and i was you know making days difficult for myself and i was giving myself a very hard time mm -hmm. and looking back i think that maybe i should have been more relaxed while mm -hmm. preparing for entrances mm -hmm. so that's that and uh, i for one am very passionate about economics like i read up articles on economics when i whenever i'm free mm -hmm. so i think that people uh, i would like to tell them to pursue their actual interests and not just go for something because everybody else is going for it because i have seen a lot of people uh, fail in what they're doing just because they're not happy so that is not serving the purpose i think because uh, if uh, like even in economics like if you're specializing in your area of advantage then you are benefiting hmm. so i think uh, people should follow what they like what their hearts are telling them to that is it and and how about listening to some parents or somebody senior <laughs> <laughs> no of course of course uh, you should always take advice from your parents and seniors yeah. but my parents for one always told me to just uh, do whatever i want to do academically because uh, unless and until i'm happy with what i'm studying i won't actually be interested in it i won't yeah. go back to it when i'm free yeah. i'll just do it before exams okay so that does not serve the purpose okay all right that's a good advice uh... that many people have said it just be sure that that's what you want to do because it's a competitive world and you cannot compete if you are doing something you don't want to do and opportunities i think so are endless but the thing is that for people like me i have to look up on linkedin okay what is happening i have to be in touch with this and nobody is telling anybody that okay so this is this is what you do and there's no like you know set mentor so you have to find out that okay this is happening for example about these uh, series i had to like find it that this is happening so like that so I how did you find it how did you find it i am curious actually, actually one of my friends um, got the opportunity and uh, he told me yeah. so that is how i found out yeah. and then of course i googled and i looked up so yeah, yeah i wanted to be a part of this okay and uh, that is it uh, i read a lot of articles but i was thinking about you know like getting an opportunity to actually write about them or yeah. maybe uh, work on them yeah. so i have not got that yet but maybe i will so yeah okay in well, this era of online everything yeah when you write an article you are most welcome to come and present it on this channel okay if you okay. if you write an article that you think you are proud of and you want to present it uh let's come and do it here okay so that's an option it don't need not be just a group you are proud of what you have done come present it uh, let's have an option okay all right okay. so shall we end it here today yes sir, of course all right it fine. was a pleasure to talk to you
to you. All right, fine. So let's say bye to the viewers and I'll be back with another young person or an expert. Till then, bye everybody. Bye.